Hey guys, sorry my hands are a little dirty. I've been working on rug guns all day, but let me show you a quick video on the difference between loop pile and cut pile. Here's a loop pile scissor in my hand, and I'll show you how it works and the difference between the two. So these are the scissors that I have. I bought them at Walmart for about $5. I like them a lot because they're small and I could carry them in my hand while I'm using the rug gun. It comes in handy having a smaller pair because if you're using regular scissors, uh, it just takes time having to grab the scissors and constantly do that. But when you're using loop pile, you're going to want to cut the yarn every single time you lift the gun off of your fabric. If not, it'll pull the yarn right out like this. Also, make sure to have sharp scissors. I've been using these for a very long time. That's why it didn't cut right away. And here's what it looks like on the opposite side. As you can see, it sews loops into the fabric, and it's quite a different style from cut pile. Cut pile's a lot shaggier, and I feel like this makes your rug look a little bit more condensed than cut pile does. I've also noticed some people getting a lot of great details with loop pile. Here's me pulling the yarn off. As you can see, if you don't cut it, it'll just pull right out. These are cut pile scissors, and as you could tell, it's probably a lot easier than using loop pile because you don't have to constantly cut the yarn every single time you let the rug gun off of your fabric. It cut and sews yarn into the fabric, and then you can pull it right out. After watching this part of the video, comment down below which style you like better, cut pile or loop pile. This is me using cut pile now. As you can see, I could take the rug gun right off of the fabric and it cuts the yarn every single time. It's a lot easier and faster in my opinion. Here's what cut pile looks like. It cuts each end of the yarn and it makes a shaggy look. I use cut pile for almost every single rug that I make just because I like the way that it looks a lot more. But let me know in the comments once again which one's your favorite. If I'm making a really detailed rug, I will go with loop pile just because I feel like it's a lot more condensed and you could really capture detail with every single loop. Versus with cut pile, you could still get a lot of great detail, but it all comes down to trying it yourself and learning which one you like better. Other guns on the market are either cut pile or loop pile, but with my rug gun you could switch it to cut pile and loop pile for the price of one. It's a lot of fun and it comes in handy being able to switch your rug gun from cut pile to loop pile in just minutes. To purchase a rug gun you can go on my website imakerugs.com, it's linked in the description. I also sell my rug fabric on there, I have a couple free downloads, and a lot of other helpful videos to help you get started. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more videos on how I make rugs. See you later.